ready for the next fight. He said there was a city across the river, where the citizens seemed riled up fierce. I really hope I'm on the right track. The Collective has a stranglehold over the people of Anosia, our home. Under their rule, work is life, and not a single soul is allowed to question the way things are. You accept the role you're given, and you do it with a smile. Or else. That's no way to live. We had to change the status quo. So we formed the Free Citizens to give others of like mind safe haven. They look up to my brother as their ally and leader. And for all of the Collective's talk of the greater good, they won't suffer any dissent. So it's up to me to keep him safe. I should be fine. I hope I lost them. Them and their 
Scholastic Collective. Wait, what? Say that again? You were running from the Collective? Curse the day I heard that word, and now it seems I can't escape it. Go ahead, bring me to your friends. No, no, I'm on your side. What happened? Oh, well, I need to rest, so let me start from the beginning. He lived a simple life in a peaceful village, until one day a group of strangers appeared bearing a strange philosophy. They seemed kind at first, talking of the greater good of the Collective. But it wasn't long before they showed their true colors. The villagers were forced into menial work and hard labor. To take their freedom back, they banded together. It turned bloody. I had no choice but to flee the village with our lives. In the confusion, I lost track of my family. I'll help you find them. Sounds like we better hurry. You sure? Of course. I'm looking for family myself. And I know if I were in your shoes, I'd appreciate any aid I could get. You have my thanks. Truly. There they are, safe and sound by the looks of it. Amazing. Reunited at last. All thanks to this kind soul. And I don't even know your name. Ah, uh, right. I never did get around to that, huh? Well... I'm Sophie, born and bred in Anosia. I'm fighting to overthrow the Collective and win freedom. <laughs> well... At least I think I am. You think? 
It's... how can I say it? It's like a memory, but it's fuzzy. Out of focus. I know what you mean. None of us can remember far back. If you're having trouble remembering Anosia, maybe this could help. A rune? Those wretches who took our village were carrying these. They'd always mumble something after gazing into the runes. Sounded like Anosia. Really? Did the rune show you anything? No. Neither of us saw a thing. But that doesn't mean you won't. Finally! Something that'll point me in the right direction! How does this keep happening? She sets off without a plan and barely a clue, but somehow fate guides her along without a hitch. What's so special about her? Is there something I'm not seeing? Or could it be... Is Palamecia setting something in motion behind the scenes? All right, Rune. Time to do your thing. Show me the way! This is Anosia, a city divided. The Collective maintains its stranglehold on the populace, while the free citizens fight to break the spell of the Collective's rule. Soon, it will all come to a head. The people of Anosia will elect their next rulers, and my brother has been chosen to lead the free citizens. Going by his last speech, we're well on our way to winning the people's hearts. In a fair election, we would win. However... Curse those free citizens and their lies! They spit in our faces, mock our beliefs, and bedevil the common folk with honeyed words! Snicks the lava! We mustn't let our beloved Anosia fall into the hands of charlatans! We must win! Indeed! And we mustn't scruple to employ any means necessary! My brother is key to the success of the Free Citizens. The Collective knows that, and they're not above playing dirty. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. too badly, did they? Huh? What are you talking about? You know, when those meanies from the Collective attacked you. Attacked? No. Lucky for me, that never happened. They bared their fangs, sure. But then, your brother came along and sent them running. He did? That's what happened. 
Sorry about that. My imagination gets the best of me sometimes. Speaking of your brother, when will he return? What? You mean, he's not here already? Uh, I mean, of course, I already knew that. Well, you see, he'll be back. He's just... He's just... What did he say again? That he was... He's gone into hiding. With the Collective out hunting for him, it isn't safe for my brother to show himself. Not for now. He's waiting for things to blow over. It's good to hear he's safe. But the elections draw near. Our support is growing, but we need your brother to speak to the people. I know! I was just about to go tell him the same thing. You stay here and keep tabs on the Collective. I just keep walking, it'll come to me. Out of my way. Take this. Take this. Let's wrap this up. from a distance, but ever since I stepped foot out of the city, I've seen nothing but snarling fiends. What is it with the outdoors around here? Unless... Oh no, what if the fiends are gathered around here for a reason? If the Collective were looking for my brother too, they'd probably bring beasts along to help their odds. I have to find him, and fast! Don't worry, Sophie's coming to the rescue!
wide open. Right. Me off guard. Hey, what? 
That's a dirty trick. Huh? What? Sorry, I'm late. It's... Uh, you! I thought... I thought maybe you weren't... But you are! You're here! Finally! I'm so glad! Sophie... It seems we were able to meet again. For that... I am glad. We. As if that man in the rune and I are the same. However, I cannot deny I find myself believing that more and more. Could this tale that's unfolding have some relation to my past? Could the runes actually be showing me a glimpse of those memories that were washed away? Sounds like everyone's looking forward to your next speech. What'll it be about? I shall unmask the evil of the collective, and so on. Any philosophy that denies people their freedom is an easy one to tear down. Hmm, maybe. But do you need to tear them down? Of course. I mean, I'm not saying they don't deserve it, but these elections are about Anosia's future, right? The people don't need to hear about how miserable they are now. Convince them of the bright future we have to offer. Get them to look forward with optimism, with hope. I see. You have a point. A good one. Of course, I should expect no less from my sister. The problem is making them see the truth that we already know. How do we make them believe in the message of the free citizens? All right. The credo of the free citizen is to... Just thinking about those free citizens mocking our generosity makes me wretch. Duh. If they wish to shirk the responsibility of working, they're free to fend for themselves in the wild. <laughs> oh no, not now. Oh ho, what do we have here? A couple pieces of lowly scum that wish to steal Anosia's future. Let the election decide that. The people will voice their opinions, decide their own future. No one will do it for them. The people know nothing. It's not for the common folk to decide the course of a nation. Only those fit to rule can wield that power. So the truth of your beliefs is laid plain. Silence! We'll stamp out the free citizens! not the time to panic. If those two knew where I was hiding. It must mean others are not far behind. We have to leave. All right, let's go.
this! Take this! Turn to time! Our friends are safe. If the Collective came all the way out here to attack you, I shudder to think what they're doing to our allies in the city. I don't think you have to worry about that. Your goal was to silence me quietly. That would be easiest for them. We must part ways. All who journey with me put their own lives at risk. I don't think so. I didn't come all this way to finally meet you and then just go away. I'm staying by your side no matter what. I expected that. Very well. I shall keep you from harm. Hey, I can fight too. In fact, I think it'll be me doing most of the protecting around here. <laughs> well said. I do not doubt you.
my way.